So I'm gonna teach you guys how I created a six figure a year agency that is sustainable. It doesn't just look successful, but it's sustainable. And this is the back end of my high level in the last month and then some recurring revenue. And obviously there's actually more revenue of what we took. So we did a couple grand more than this. And I just wanna show you guys that this is such a fun business model. I've been in the agency space since 2018. Back in 2016, I worked for Ty Lopez. I got that all documented on this channel. But I'm gonna show you guys how high level, which is the CRM piece in this whole AI ecosystem, is just a piece of that and how I'm able to monetize with this offer. Now, a few things. There's people that are just selling, 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 selling. They'll get to 30, 40, 50K a month. And then the next month they have 5K that they're doing. And then they'll go back and they'll book calls, cold DMs, cold emails. They'll reach out and they'll just close deals, close deals, but not get actual results for clients. I wanted to build this in a sustainable way where we help local businesses with AI solutions. So what does that look like? Uh, at first, it's just building out the back end, which was the CRM, which in this case is go high level. And then it's piecing around a lot of these uh, different uh, softwares. And uh, for example, the advertising side, right? So we have templates that we're building out for our specific niche, which in this case, if you've been following the channel, it's cleaning businesses, but you could do this for all types. And I'm gonna give you guys towards the end of this uh, a breakdown on how to go in depth with building all this out. So we have the lead generation, which is the paid advertising, whether it's Facebook or Google. And then we have a booking bot as soon as they come through the CRM. And then that booking bot, what it does is it books a, a lead that's gonna be qualified through text message onto the calendar for the company, for the cleaning business or the local business, whatever that is. And then we have a sophisticated advertising tracking system, which we use another software, AI software. And I'm gonna kind of explain this in this full thing, but I wanted to show you guys what this looks like and how to build this because this is the new era of marketing agencies today in this hour. And this is an example, okay? So we just started working with this client. This was in January. You'll see this date right here. And this is a great testimony where we just implemented and bolted in all the systems. The cleaning business did over $2,000. They spent $359 in, in ads uh, in just that week. And then they got one recurring clean, two possible, and then a, a $1,000 deep clean. Okay, this is just all in new business. So it's not just the Google ads that did this. It's this full ecosystem, this AI ecosystem. So I, I put here Google ads, quality or qualify the lead with AI, CRM, nurture, convert. And if you wanna know how we're getting 30 to 50 qualified leads a month for cleaning businesses, I tell them, hey, uh, comment below, let me know. And I also dropped a video, which is part of this YouTube channel. So this is tons and tons of uh, different ways on how to do this, but we simplified it into a system and we're getting a lot of different uh, uh, responses and testimonies through this. So let's actually talk about this, okay? So back in 2018, when I started my agency and I also documented that journey on this channel, hundreds of videos later, it was the old way. Uh, one method, which was like Facebook ads, a large team, 40 to 50 hours of work a week, high churn rate, hustle hard to get clients, ads, cold email to get clients, stressful, complex, all day work. And I only had a handful of clients. I didn't have nearly as much as I uh, am managing today. We're handling a handful of clients just alone in the cleaning business. We're managing 15 cleaning businesses all across the US, different cities, obviously. I don't work with people in the same city, but it's a whole different way of running it back then, which if I was working with five clients, I felt like we were doing all day work versus today where it's like we have bolt on systems and AI that does the heavy list, list, lifting and software. So this was the old method. So that model was one input to your offer to client number one, another input to your offer to client number two, another input to your offer to client number three. So this was the old model. So it was like every client had something that was specific, 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 it was brand new. There wasn't something we were pushing in to an offer that distributed to multiple clients. So this was the old model. And what clients really care about today and for all the time is the results, not the method to get there. Now they'll ask you questions about how to get there and what does that look like, uh, that method, but they don't really care too much about the method over the results. They care about the results more than the method. So that's how we uh, really were able to develop uh, this system, which is this new era business model. So there's one input to your offer, to what you're selling, and then you just bolt that into client number one, client number two, Client number three, that's it. It's it's the simplicity behind creating something. So when we get our next cleaning business client, we already have the offer that we've 
put all this work in, this AI ecosystem infrastructure. And when we get to client four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here's the thing, if something changes because tech is always changing, we could just bolt it right into every single client when we make one change across the whole board. So this is the new era business model, which is mainly a productized offer. Okay, so we don't sell marketing services, we sell marketing assets. Again, I'm gonna share with you guys with this little masterclass of what we do with AI. So going in, I'm gonna show you guys, this is the old way. Remember, we talked about the 2018 way. The new productized agency is one simple method, which is skill stacked, okay? A lean team, less than three, 12 to 17 hours plus a week, high retention, high lifetime value, strategic organic content, inbound leads to get clients, simple fun processes and systems, and you're working four to five hours work a day. I believe that I can double my clients and still work the four to five hour work a week, uh, work days. So I, can, I believe I could double our portfolio and still do this because we have a productized agency. So going back to the productized agency, it's the offer, what are you selling, right? The systems that we're building and then operating off a level of excellency that allows us to profit. This is the new era model. This is the new era agency with AI, software, and the right systems to be able to, again, leverage. So talking about this, it's as simple as a lead generation that lead nurtures, that does a lead conversion to build, bolting in software solutions all around that. And these are the main things businesses need. Lead, lead gen, lead nurture, okay? Building uh, trust with your, uh, with your leads, and then getting the, those leads to become clients and convert them. Lead generation, lead nurture, lead conversion, and then we have software solutions to bolt that on. So, so with the uh, practical way, it's like Google Ads, for, for this example with our cleaning clients that has our CRM, which is the lead nurture, this is go high level, that converts them and that can go to like a booking bot, to an appointment, to a sales call. And then we bolt on these software solutions. And just on like a, a bigger picture, there's Google ads to a form page, to a thank you page. So this is what most Google ad agencies used to do. They're like, we just run Google ads, we send them to your website, you do the rest. With us, the new era model, we get them from a Google Ads to a form page to different phases, phase one, phase two, phase three of SMS, emails, follow-ups, all the way to a booked call. This is the new era model of what we're teaching and being able to implement into the businesses because a lot of these local businesses, they're a lot, they might be older, they might not be as tech savvy. So this is what we're teaching them on the, the ability to leverage expenses that we're, they're already spending. They're already spending money on software. They're already spending money on all these things. Why not bolt the right ones and create a whole system around it? And they pay us to be able to strategize and build this out, okay? So again, going back to what we originally talked about. So I'm gonna be going through this training on what this looks like practically and how you can launch an AI ad agency. So if you want to build an AI ad agency, this is the teaching today, okay? There is a few things here, which the CRM, paid advertising, booking bot, and advertising tracking. So the paid advertising, we have a we have an AI powered ads templates, which is Google and Facebook ad templates, and it's powered by, by AI. So we use Uphex at this very moment. Now there's other tools out there, We'll talk about this, but this is something I can go in deeper. Just give you guys a big picture. The CRM, this is the lead and client tracker with SMS and email automations to organize and structure everything. This this houses everything, it's like the foundation. And then as soon as the ads come in, they go through the CRM, a booking bot automatically texts them. And that bot books leads into a calendar on autopilot. And then we have an advertising tracking that is a sophisticated AI tracking system to scale paid ads, which we use as Hyros, okay? Um, this one, I've white labeled one and I've called it booked. CRM is GHL. So there's a few things. These are, these are all different AI tools, softwares, and piecing it to one, this is the AI ecosystem that businesses are gonna be paying us. Why? Because it gets them a result. We are not selling marketing services. We're building marketing assets and selling that marketing asset. This is the marketing asset to build and sell. Cool. So if I were to give you guys just a little foundation of what that looks like, it's going from the ads to a Facebook lead form, to an AI booking bot, to an appointment, to a close. So this is the full ecosystem that we're trying to build. So I'll give you guys a few different examples. And again, we're gonna go through this training so the niche. Now, what you want to do is you want to pick a niche that in my in in my perspective or my opinion would be high ticket. 
So if you go through this list, you'll obviously see a lot of different examples. There's the roofing, the solar, those are high ticket, remodeling businesses, uh, restoration services, landscaping services. We have other high ones like real estate, that's another high one. Home repairs might be a high. Home remodel, interior. So these are a few high ticket services, meaning if they acquire a client, they could sell a thousand to a couple thousand higher ticket versus some that are just selling a hundred dollar service. So what I would do is I'm, if I'm picking a niche is pick something that can go high ticket because all these are boring businesses. They're necessities. There's a need for most of these businesses in the marketplace and people are willing to pay. Now, the difference is our ability to get them, uh, get these businesses in front of the right clients that are already looking for these services and beat the competition. That's really it. Pick a niche, okay? Pick a niche. This AI ad creative, this is how to create um, an AI ad creative. So there's several different uh, videos out there and, 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 and apps and softwares that allows us to, um, that allows us to create these AI creators is what they call it, or AI personality. So this can be booked by AI. And I just did this with a software using uh, Caption. So Captions does this. Now, something with this is I saw this and I'll show you guys how to actually spy on your uh, competition of people that are running ads in a specific industry. And this one's specifically for roofing. So I'm just gonna show you guys. This is the Facebook ad library. This is public. So you can go in and you can go in all ads and I'm just gonna type in roof, okay, roof. And what it's gonna populate is all the roofing ads. So you guys see this, there's a ton of roofing ads and you can just keep going down and you'll see all these roofing ads with the ad copy, with the creative. How do I know that one is working? Like you could actually see like right here, April 5th, 2025. So the date that you're looking this up, if they're running for a long, long time and they're still up, it's most likely working and converting because if you're running it for three months and it's not converting, you'll usually turn it off. But if these people are running it for months and months and months, you'll know they work. So I just wanna show you guys, you just Google Facebook ad library and you'll, this is the first thing that's gonna pop up, and then you can check it out. From here, oops, from, from here you're gonna see, and this is when I was typing roofers, I saw this offer, roof repair starting at 295. And I could tell this is probably even like a chat GPT. I chat GPT'd this, and I told chat GPT, make something similar to this and add it into like a Facebook ad. And it gave me this. So. There is no excuse on, on like, I, I don't know the creatives. I don't know all, uh, how to how to be a content creator. This all creates everything for the ad. We just gotta learn how to click some buttons and piece it all together, right? Me, I'm not a real creative when it comes to uh, shooting content and editing it super high quality. That's not me. I know how to turn on a camera, just like I know how to click, that's just clicking buttons, just like I know how to click buttons on Facebook. Same Same skill. So that's the ad creative, this is the ad copy. And what I did was I found a specific ad copy that I thought was good, like this one. Here's an example, and I told ChatGPT to re rewrite uh, some copy for a Facebook ad that is targeting homeowners that needs to get their roofs done in the Florida area. I gave an example, and then they wrote, rewrote it right here. So even being a copywriter and writing copy for the ad, and what is the copy of the ad? Remember, it's this part uh, that you're seeing right here. This is the copy of the ad, which is the writing. Yeah, so you'll see this and honestly, you can even find different ones. So like, hey, I'm Edgar, proud owner of something roof repairs. As a local owned roofing company, this is why, right? You want We wanna earn your business, offer free quotes, handle. So what I could do is I just copy this, tell ChatGPT rewrite it for, roofing, uh, comp for a roofing company that is running ads to homeowners in the Florida area. Let's just use Florida because I use Florida in, in that example. Then you just post, paste that and then you'll see it pop open right here. Welcome to the AI era. Okay, so this is how to start this in the AI era. And then we get into the uh, GHL, the CRM, the AI automation nurture CRM. So this is the CRM that is what we use. This one's a, a snapshot of a cleaning business that we use for our CRM. Again, this has all the automations, the emails, the text messages, it houses everything. You get to see, you get to tag, you just click a couple buttons and build it out. Now, is it as easy as I'm putting it out? No, there's time to learn the software, but once you learn it, 
and you, you take it one piece at a time, you'll really start to help a lot of these business owners automate. But this does the heavy lifting when you're sleeping and it's capturing emails and the landing pages are live, the websites are live. So this is like running 24 seven for you. Okay, so the AI automation and nurture CRM is another piece. And then we have the booking bot. And what the booking bot does is the, the moment they come into the website from a Google ad or a Facebook ad, the booking bot qualifies them, asks them questions, and then books them the, the next availability that the client is gonna be, or that the, the sales rep is gonna be available for the, the, the lead that wants to turn into a client. So imagine a human, it sounds like a human that is texting you after you fill out your information, like I'm looking for plumbing and you put that on their website. I'm looking for painters, I'm putting that on my website. So this is the power of AI and what it, what it does. And I wrote this uh, not too long ago, that there are 30 small businesses in the United States, okay, and has increased by 50% since 2010. Plus, they're easy to reach and simple to grow marketing with. Um, but half of all the businesses will fail in the first five years because they don't make enough money to survive, which is so true. And with AI being the buzzword today, there are so many ways to be able to grow businesses in the new era marketplace. And this is me being able to be just be a piece of, just get a small piece of this, a very, very small piece of this, selling AI solutions to local businesses, all right? If you guys want to learn more, I'll put some information down below. If you guys end up being an affiliate for Go High Level, or if you wanna be part of my community with school, I have snapshots, I teach all this, and all you gotta do is just pay for the small membership, you get access to everything, our team, and even just the support. And I'm just really, really here to help because there's so much to eat. <laughs> there's so many industries I you could take on. I only have two industries that I'm mainly working with, which is real estate investors and cleaning businesses. So there's so many out there, so many different niches. And I'm not the only one in these niches. So I, I just know the power of that. So if you want to learn, I'll put some information below. And I'll also put another video explaining, like maybe you're like, hey, how do I know this is the best business model? I'll post that video below. You guys can watch that. It's another YouTube video. Watch that full video. See why the other models are not as... Uh, beginner friendly compared to this one and why this one is super relevant even today. Okay. So all that information below. Thanks for watching until the end. If you have any questions, uh, drop in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. God bless you. Take care. Description. Check it out. God bless you. Bye-bye.